it's real smoking when I see you, what's up? When I see you, what's up, man? It's real smoke, man. And I'm not playing. When I see you, what's up? I'm out, man. Keep playing. Y'all think it's a game, man. See, y'all think it's a game. You gotta grind every day. We're about to go out here and grind right now. Every day we grind. Always. Every day, man. And ain't, ain't no stop to it, man. Got the billboards on their way. Tight. Hey world, say world, what it do, world? DBFD fam. I'm just standing up real quick, man, because I'm, you know, I'm saying I'm just feeling, feeling like I want to stand up real quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to sit down real quick though, man. But uh, real quick, y'all go ahead, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe to the video right now. If you don't know, I'ma call you hater. Why be a hater? Hater. Uh -uh. Subscribe to the channel right now, like, share. But yeah, I'm not about to take a seat, sit down, and come to y'all face to face and let y'all know who this uh chunk peewee I got beef with, smoke with. Let's do it. Ha ha ha. Mighty Joel. Shit. Why not? Fuck. As you see the shirt, Mighty Joel. Shit. Why not? Got my logo and all that. All right, let's get to the video. Let dog, let logo, logo right there, logo right there. Let dog. Ha, ha, ha. I'm beefing with this famous rapper, man. Yeah, straight smoke, straight smoke, man. Might as well be smoke. Why not be smoke? All right, check it out. So I know y'all. I bet y'all wondering what famous rapper I'm beefing with. All right, give me a chance. I'm gonna tell you who I'm beefing with. Might as well tell you who I'm beefing with. Who I got smoke with, and it's up. See what I'm saying? I'm just from the east side. Anyway, let me tell you a little story about it real quick. Let me tell you who rap is. Tell you the situation. So, I'm out of town. Matter of fact, um, this is the time I'm rapping. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm a rap artist. I'm doing my thing. I ain't rapping no more like that. I, ain't I, mean, I do a little song. I might play a little song for y'all here. I might go to the studio. I might do something like that. <laughs> do something like that, but I ain't rapping no more like that. So, but I was rapping at the time, see what I'm saying? So uh I go to Houston, Texas. We go to Houston, go kick it in Houston and stuff like that. Um I'm on tour really, but by, I'm in Houston for a minute, I'm doing my thing. So I get up with some of the, the biggest radio personalities in Houston, man. If you know, if you if you're in the Houston area, you already know Hard Body Kiati, uh uh DJ Hasi. DJ DJ Hasi was the main one I was um touring with, but I ended up linking up with uh Hard Body Kiati. We had a little meeting and stuff, you know what I'm saying? What dude I was dealing with. At a record label, you know him, we, we linked up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got pictures and videos, all this stuff. They, but anyway, me and DJ Hasi was on tour, with a little tour. He was, uh, he was playing the music every time I come out to um different bars, events, uh, I go to clubs, performing, doing my thing. But before all that, I put my cell phone out there. Well, I put my cell phone, period, when I was in the rap game, man, doing films. I just shoot videos from celebrities and different things like that. So I put my cell phone by me grinding, talking to people, emailing. Pulling up, doing all that. So in Houston, and I was in Houston, hopping myself on. I messed around. Um, I went to some. It was a little club that be jumping on certain nights. I don't know. It was doing a weekday. So I, I saw the DJ in there, and I already had this song called "Dripping Wet." You can go look it up right now. And, you know what I'm saying? You better tell who the artist. If you I'm talking about right now, I'm gonna tell you the artist in a second. But you go look at the song called "Dripping Wet." Um, I had a song. It was Dolo. I ain't even. I ain't care about having nobody on it. But I met this DJ in the club when I, I was just shouting him out. I was giving my information, letting him know my rap man, play my song. Do, do, do. So he heard the song, he digging it. And he, and he know what I'm saying? He know a lot of different artists and stuff in the Houston area when I was out there. So I'm like, okay, cool. So uh, he hit me up. And um, so this is not who I'm beefing with, by the way. Not this artist, but the next artist I'm going to tell you. That's who, that's who I got. That's who I smoke with. And if you're watching, you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, but um, so... We chilling, we kicking, we kicking, we kicking it. I got a song called Dripping Wet. So at the time, uh, if y'all know who the Sauce Twins is, you know, Sancho, Saucy, Sauce Walker. Sauce Walker is a more bigger name than Sancho. You know what I'm saying? Because Sancho, he don't really care about the rapping like that. If he cared, then they'd be both on the same. But Sancho rap when he feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Sancho, shout out to Sauce Walker. Uh, rocking them boys. Anyway, so he was like, man, you might, but I, I didn't get Sancho on the song. He was, I, mean, I didn't get Sauce Walker on the song. He was like, you might as well put Sancho on the song. You know what I'm saying? He said, Sancho, they're the, they're the Sauce Twins. If y'all don't know, 
I know y'all heard Slim Thug and all these other rappers and stuff like that in Atlanta stuff. Um, you know, and not just them people around the world saying dripping sauce and all that, but really that came from the Sauce Twins when they first came out. Central Saucy, Sauce walking them boy, they they drip, drip. Yeah, I got the drip. Yeah, I got the drip. Yeah, <laughs> them boys was uh the ones that was you know what I'm saying pushing all that. So anyway, everybody just ran with it. But shout out to, shout out to uh. Young Thug, too, man. All them boys, man. Free him. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Free him. Don't want to be him, but free him. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, to make a long story short, the DJ had a plug with uh, the Sauce Twins, so he got it with Central Saucy. So, cool. Me and Central Saucy leak up. Me and Central Saucy, um, I go in the studio with Central Saucy. I go over there. You know, you see some of the Sauce Twins people in the studio. He dropped the song. He he rapping. So, I get in the heat. And then like, yeah. And then like, yeah. Yeah. He rapping, doing his thing. He in the booth. I'm like, okay, Sancho, okay, okay, okay. He get out the booth. How that sounds? He said, if you don't like it, I'll do it again. I'll do it over. I'm like, nah, Sancho, man. That, that's hard, boy. For real. Might as well keep that shit. Why not keep it? Fuck. That shit hard. Might as well. So anyway, he do it. So now, uh, one of my one of my day one dogs, he from he from Baton Rouge. Um, he was connected to uh this is the person that I got smoke with, and I'm gonna tell you why. He's connected to Slim Thug, and, that, and, and, and that's who the, that's who beef that's who the beef is with Slim Thug. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, and I'll be here to talk about no uh stuff raps up back in the day, and I I mean I'm here, I'm not here to be talking about stuff that happened in the industry this and that, but it's just a quick story. This ain't no be honest, we just ain't really no real smoke no real. I don't when I see Slim Thug, I don't want to beat him up and shoot him up. If I see him, just still be like, what up? But I I, don't, I, I just I just. Don't really rock with him like that because the situation he did. And I appreciate having a lot of people in the industry, but it's not nothing. When I see some thug, like when I see him, let me punch him in the mouth or let me shoot him. But nah, I mean, it's all good. He's speaking, speaking, he might not even remember. He might not even remember, nigga. And that's cool too. But if I see him, it's whatever. All right, whatever. But you know what you did. That was flaw. But I ain't, I ain't really no real smoke. I'm just I'm just talking. I'm just telling y'all the story of what happened. Just talk, talking about, speaking my piece because it's been on my chest for years. And I ain't been, I ain't. but anyway, so check it out. So, uh, my boy link up with Slim Thug. I didn't ask for the Central Saucy. I didn't ask for the Slim Thug. The DJ said, I know Central, you want to get on? Okay, cool. Let Central get on. Cool. Central was a real one, real nigga from the beginning, from the end. My boy knew Slim Thug. Oh, I can get Slim Thug. Okay, cool. Get him. Got Slim Thug. So I pull up on Slim Thug. <laughs> Me and Slim Thug talking. He like, shit, where, where you from? Where you from? Like, uh, no, no, no. He was like, you from Louisiana? I'm like, nah, 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 I'm from North Carolina. I'm from Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? No, he was like, okay, for sure, for sure. So right then, I felt like it might have been something because I felt like he, he, he felt like, Oh, he ain't from Houston, or he ain't close to Louisiana. I don't want to put him on. But I also heard other dudes in Houston say Slim ain't look out for them either. So that, that could be the case. I don't know. They could just be who he is, whatever. But anyway, I feel like I pulled up with Slim. I had something clean, dressed nice, fresh, changed it, muscled up. He like, he looking at me like, I ain't about to put this dude on. But anyway, make a long story short, we go in the studio. Slim did what he did. Um, you know, I had to pay him a fee. I paid him a fee. Did I, I paid Sancho a fee too. Paid Slim the other fee. He went to the studio. He already had it done. He did it. He killed it. I ain't gonna lie, he killed it. He was one of his best person ever. Y'all want to, it's like about seven, eight years ago. If y'all want to go to um J Swift, J Dash S W I F T, and then and then put in dripping wet. D R I P P I N G wet. W E T. Yeah, and the song will pop up. It's Slim Thug, Central Saucy, J Swift. You hit a song, the song hard. Central Saucy, I did the first verse. I was like rapping and singing. And Central Saucy did the last verse, Slim Thug in the, in the middle verse. But anyway, so me and Slim Thug, we, we um, you know, um, I, I, well, my first verse, I had a rapping verse. My verse was retarded, but my people was like, man, since you sing it, I'm, I sing and rap. So they was like, since you singing, go ahead, man, just uh, just put the, just do like a little singing thing of the rap verse and just keep it melodic. Let, let uh, Slim Thug and Central Saucy kill it on the rapping parts and you sing it in my. So I kept my first verse cool, melodic, you know what I'm saying? Cool, whatever. whatever. So back to Slim Thug. Um, so anyway, you know, we go in the studio. He do his thing. Got some people with him. He knock it out. So I paid him the bread already, right? And and plus, also, Slim Thug, the the person that that, that was recommended to through, is one of my dogs. His partner, they real dogs, like family on some on some stuff at the time. So it's like, how you gonna play somebody that you're supposed to be real close to? Supposed to be your people? Like, come on, man. Anyway, make long story short. Gave him the bread. He already had the bread. So he supposed to do the song and the music video. Since uh, Sancho Saucy, he was ready to do the song. And video. He hit me. He, well, he ain't hit me. But he hitting the uh, DJ that I, that I linked up with to let him know, hey, man, well, I'm ready. Well, he ready. I'm ready to do the video. And, uh, and Slim Thug, like, uh, all right, well, let me know when you're ready to do the video, man. We should we do the video. So we got the song. So I dropped the song. Got to the world. I'm performing the song. 
everybody rocking with it. everybody when y'all gonna do the video when y'all do the video it's busting if, you, if like i said if you go on a song and put dripping wet it's a couple of them out but if you look at the right one it got a nice amount of views on the song you know what i'm saying so anyway um and it's for the females and the females like we talking nasty and dirty on that thing too Ooh, you know what dripping wet me she it go like she dripping uh or what she dripping oh uh, she dripping wet that's right and but it don't start off like that we just start off she dripping wet she dripping she dripping wet she dripping she dripping no oh, she dripping wet that's right and no oh, she had been sex tonight and no oh, she dripping wet that's right and no oh, she had been sex tonight yeah yeah you know what i'm saying but it is more tool than that but y'all 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 go check out the song anyway so you know um slim thug like for sure you feel me we're gonna do Sean hit me up and whenever you're ready to do the music video we're gonna do it so i'm like cool i set up a date uh i had my people holler us central saucy hey, let's do the video i'm ready so i'm getting the girls and everything ready my people back ready to do the video my boy hit up i went i had slim thug on myself so i hit a slim thug person myself <laughs> slim thug hit me back he did reach back out to me he was like all right for sure i got you he said uh he was like man let me check my calendar and i get back with you i'm like oh yeah it's about to be up Oh yeah, Slim Thug about to do the video. Since I was about to do the video at this time, it was about to, I'm, I'm popping right now. I'm popping already in the city. Charlotte popping. I just got, a, got on off to a university. A universal at the time. I'm doing this. I'm doing this before COVID and shit. I'm doing all. I got making a name for me in Houston. I already, already, you know, what I'm, I'm from Charlotte, so I don't. I people already know me in Atlanta. I, I used to shoot music videos for different celebrities in Atlanta. Brick Squad, uh, Shorty Low RP. Shorty, that was my dog. You know, what I'm saying I was shooting. A lot of behind the scenes for them too, because you no, know, my boy GT Films directed. He put me on out there, so I'm I'm, I'm around all the biggest celebrities. You know what I'm saying? I already know I'm Florida with all I'm, I'm Vegas. I'm on the Vegas. LA. I'm moving around, so I'm putting my, putting my stamp in Houston. So I'm like, this is about to be big. So, and, and the song's so hard. I'm already knowing Slim get on it and stamp it because he just stamped South Twins, and that's how they got popping. He I ain't said that's how they got popping, but he helped them out. He did a video for him, and they blew up. So I'm like, I'm in Houston. Slim Thug on a video with me, Sancho Sauce. He's like, and now, who knows? Sauce Walker might pop up, make an appearance. I don't know. That's his. That's his brother. You never know. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, oh, it's about to go down. So and then I already got the females, they ready up. We, we, it's busting. So I'm like, for sure, going down for real. You know what I'm saying? Oh, buddy from Carolina doing this thing, man. Oh, North Carolina kid. The kid did dig. God dang it. So make a long story short. Uh Slim ain't get back to me. So I waited a day or two. I ain't want to press him enough. So I hit him back. He might have responded one time. He might have. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give him the benefit of doubt that he did respond one time, even though he might have didn't. But I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Hit him again. He was like, "I got you. Let me check my calendar again." Something like that. Was cool. I, I, I ain't probably gave him a couple of days. A couple of days. Central. Everybody ready to do it. DJ like, "What's up, Slim? What you gonna do to be that?" Hit Slim again. Uh, no response. Boy, stop responding to me. Period. I, and I only hit him like every day, every hour. I hit him like once. I might wait two days, three days for the. Hit him again. Hit him. Nothing response. So now I'm taking. Okay, let me hit him on Instagram. Hit him. Hit, Boy, stop responding. Slim thug, stop responding. Hit it, stop responding to a boy cold. God dang turkey. So I'm like, yeah. Okay, that's how you doing it. So I was going, um, well now I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, I was on, I was on the forget slim thug, fuck slim thug too. I ain't gonna lie at the time. Like, man, fuck slim thug. Bitch ass. Like, for real, that's how I'm feeling. I'm gonna keep it real. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sit here and stunt for y'all. I'm, I'm like, bro, how you going? I ain't even care about you getting the song, but now you got in the song, and then I was, through, and it was through some mutual people that's really, you really tied into, you really locked, nigga, y'all really dogs, y'all, y'all the club, y'all all the everywhere together, like, how you gonna play me like that, and I paid you the bread, so now I really want to get at him, I'm like, man, this dude, you think I'm a peewee or something, so, Sancho was still ready to shoot it, Sancho was like, we ain't, we ain't trying to something through here, we shoot without something through, whatever, but, at the time, I was just like, I should have did it, but at the time, I was just like, man, Ain't gonna be right if everybody in a slim thug ain't on it. You know what I'm saying? He supposed to stamp it. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't never end up shooting a video. Comment down below. Do y'all think I was wrong for not shooting a video? I, sh I should have shot it without Slim Thug anyway. I don't know. But uh But now at this point in life, man, I'm past it. Uh and I also talked about it a little bit, I think, on um I had an off the porch interview in Atlanta. I talked about it a little bit, but um go check that out. But uh you think I should y'all think I should have shot the video anyway? And said, if it gets Slim Thug, y'all think I should have did what I did and didn't shoot it? I don't, I don't know. But at this point, man, I ain't tripping in. Uh, shout out to Central Saucy, you know what I'm saying? Real one. Uh, he was real from the beginning to the end. Um, Slim Thug, how I feel about Slim Thug at this moment? I ain't got, I ain't really got no beef, no smoke with him, for real. It's all love. Uh, Sim is all love. Uh, like I said, he probably ain't remember me. 
You know what I'm saying? If you see this video, if you slipped up watch this video, he remember him because he gonna think about the song jump away. He gonna look it up and be like, oh, I do remember that dude. He remember him probably, but it's out the real. He might not remember. But if you watch, you know, if you do if ever get cross some thug, man, nah, I ain't, I ain't tripping on some thug no more about it. I do, I do still feel some. I, ain't gonna, I do feel some type of way about it. Like, dang, bro, that's that's, that's crazy, but. It ain't it ain't that serious though. It is what it is. I just want to speak my piece, get this off my check. I'm like, dang, bro. I know people get done done all kind of ways in the music industry. It'd be, it'd be crazy, but I'm just so 100. I'm so loyal, and I'm so real to the point where it's like, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do something. If I can't do it, I'm gonna hit you up and let you know why. But you know, everybody ain't like that, man. Everybody ain't like that. So you know, it is what it is. But that's just my story, man. Y'all know it's your boy J242. First, we here. Eastside, like, share, subscribe to this video right now. Comment down below. Holla at your boy. We over and we out. One zillion. Hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. <laughs> Let do it. Might as well do it. Why not do it? Shit. Why not? Fuck. It's the YouTube vlog thing, you know it's J Swift Bub. Yeah, J Swift DBF, DJ Swift Too Fresh, we the best. Ain't nothing better, ain't nothing less. Cutting you up, blood flying out your flesh. Messing around, dang bullets flying in your chest. But now nah, we trying to chill, we don't want no black on black crime. We just trying to get money.